My sense is that O'Reilly has lost all hope for his brother. He's convinced that Cyril will be found guilty and executed. From what you say, the boy did commit the crime, but that he did it in self-defense. Yes, and more importantly, Cyril's mental capacity is so low, executing him would be a travesty. Well, then we'll have to make some noise. Um, get the media interested in the case. Stir up some public indignation. I heard you were a rabble-rouser. When I was ordained, we were still living off the heady fumes of the Vatican Council, you know. Priests weren't just Sunday morning demagogues. We went out into the community to help, to advocate. We wanted to christen the world. But now, as I'm approaching the end of my ministry, and I look at the priests who are going to replace me, they don't care about action. They're only interested in dogma. Well, what do you expect to accomplish with Ryan O'Reilly? I want to restore the hope you say he has lost. That's going to take a miracle. Well, I better get down on my knees. You know, they haven't allowed me to say mass since the day I was arrested. You're busy, Sunday. O Lord, deal with us not according to our sins, nor requite us according to our crimes. O Lord, remember us not against the iniquities of the past. May your compassion quickly come to us, for we are brought very low. Help us, O God, our Savior, because of the glory of your name, O Lord. Deliver us and pardon our sins for your name's sake.